Wow. Sakuya's flawless security has been completely destroyed. What is this lunacy? Do you mean to tell me that bombing school buildings is common practice in this barbaric land? Um, no, I don't think it is. I've never seen anything like this before. This is beyond the pale. Who conceived this wretched plot? Who? Wasn't your security perfect, Sakuya? I thought you said it was on a completely new level compared to our primitive concepts. Ugh. It was perfect. Around the door, at least. What kind of rascal blows their way in through a wall? If they're going to break in, why not act with some semblance of decency and come through the door? Blowing up the window isn't exactly a common way of forcing an entry, but isn't it a little bit of a problem if there's only security on the front door? Did you see the criminals at all, Sakuya? No. I, too, only learned of this upon arriving this morning. But... Look! Look at that. He gestures at the corner by the window. There's a pile of blackened stuff on the floor. What is that? W wait, is that... The Christmas tree? Or what's left of it? Looks like it got blown up along with the window. I was wondering if something had happened to the tree. It was right next to the window and the wall that got blown up after all. Nothing left but ashes. They've left a criminal ultimatum next to it. An ultimatum? They haven't done that before, have they? Let's take a look. <laughs> we oops. We're very sad. <laughs> the tree went boom. Sorry. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. <laughs> The tree went boom. Saw we. It's a little lo lonely or loony. Lo lo lonely. It's a little lonely, but we're taking Mr. Sparkly Star. Oh, okay. So there is more. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That's the ultimatum. It reads more like. A kid's note apologizing for breaking Auntie Mildred's antique face. Those scoundrels. To take the tree topper, the most valuable part, and run. Tree topper? The star that sits at the very top of the tree. Oh, so that's what it's called. They destroyed the tree and stole the topper. This is a dreadful affront to my illustrious name. I swear I shall seek them, find them, and impose upon them strict judgments. That would be vigilantism, Sakuya. Japan is a constitutional nation. You can't do that. But it's not as if... I don't see where he's coming from. If I spent that much time and effort decorating something just to have someone blow up the room it's standing in, I'd be pretty angry too. Mr. Urashihara's tree stolen, Sakiya's tree reduced to cinders, and the topper stolen. We have to make sure these tragedies don't repeat. But we can't really find the culprits just from this apology. Or a Christmas card, or ultimatum, or whatever it is. Let's ask Mr. One if he saw anything. He's on night shift. 
So he should have been here. Oh, good plan. Lead us there too. Stop treating me like your underling, you satin pantsy prairie chicken. The main character seems a little sassier. Or it, it's been too long to remember how she was in the first, the big, the main story. I don't know. You two go ahead. I'll stay here and see if I can find any more clues. See you in a little while, you Ryuta. It's awfully cold in here. I guess with a hole that large in the wall, I might as well be outside. Dr. Iwamine. I hadn't expected you to haven't hadn't expected you here. I came to see the corpse. What corpse? Where'd you hear that there was a corpse? Oh, no corpse. And here I had my hopes up. Please don't say that with such a genuinely dejected look on your face. Well, no matter. It still is quite the fascinating crime scene. I suppose I shall look around. Please don't mind me. I have no intention of interfering with you. I see no reason to tamper with the evidence. Just yet. <laughs> Alone with the doctor in a half-collapsed room. I hope I make it out here alive. Excuse us. What is this depressing room? It's the maintenance office. Mr. One's night quarters are here too. I think it's comfy. It feels very lived in. Comfy. <laughs> Let us do whatever we are here for and leave before the poverty and reprehensibility rub it off. Mr. One, are you in here? Salutations, Monami. Did you come to visit me? You, yeah. He's sitting at a low tea table. Oh, no, the irresponsible and slightly worn out Yuya might be just a little too attractive. I knew it. A place as disgusting as this is bound to draw disgusting company. And a very fine morning to you, Yuya. We came here to talk to Mr. One. What brought you here, Yuya? I'm holding down the fort while he's out. Out? Immediately after a break-in. Suspicious indeed. I suggest we apprehend him at the first opportunity. You misunderstand. He's taking care of a few things, so our investigation of the theft can go more smoothly. After all, he and I both saw... Yuya and one? You saw the crime in progress? W what? We did indeed. It's not as easy being a hero of justice. Trouble always seems to come to you. Why did you not notify me immediately? Filthy mongrel. Notify you how? I've been asking for your phone number for months, and you've always blow me off. Gah. Did you see the culprits, Yuya? Yes. Fearsome foes indeed. Stick your beaks too far into this, and you could lose them. Don't say I haven't warned you. <laughs> how, how like you, mongrel. To cower in this filthy hovel out of fear. I, for my part, shall find these wrongdoers and have my revenge. I, too, swear to retrieve the stolen trees on my honor as a hunter-gatherer. How brave of you. Let me reward your courage with a little evidence. 
Yuya picks up one of the one of a number of photographs lined up on the table and holds it out to us. They were already on their way out when I arrived at the scene, and alas, I was unable to keep their trail. But I am a professional and I couldn't just let them get away. I made sure to capture them on film. These are the culprits. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what what are these white things oh see they shock even a bold lady of hunter gatherer origin that's not it yuya i know these creatures oh are they friends of yours who are they and where do they live Tell me this instant. I don't know who they are exactly. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! You two! Where are your parents? Merry Christmas! In any case, I'll have to take you to the employees' lounge. High society does not have rules. Or, I society does have rules. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. <laughs> Go get it. Merry Christmas. Go get it. <sighs> Those are the two things who got scolded by the security guard in the high society seagull department store. Aren't they? They were caught breaking things in the Christmas section of a department store yesterday and got taken away by security. What in? Looks like they'll go after anything Christmas with Christmas on it. <laughs> Though I can sympathize with their enthusiasm for the holy night. We thought they were only going after easy targets. But it looks like once they get a sight on something, they won't rest until it's theirs or destroyed. Their enti the entire city is filled with Christmas decorations. We have no way of knowing where they will strike next. And thus, no way of ambushing them. Not necessarily. We could lure them easily with an extravagant tree in an obvious place, don't you think? They've got guts, but they don't seem particularly intelligent. I agree with Yuya. I think we should try to bait them. And then it's settled, and the best bait would be the finest tree in the city. Right, Sakuya? The finest tree in town. Do you know of a good one, Sakuya? Are you suggesting we use the LaBelle family's Christmas tree as a lure, mongrel? Of course. Given how much work he put into the council room tree, he almost certainly has a gorgeous and decadent tree at home. It seems like the best choice. And you aren't about to just let them get away with having burned your Christmas tree, are you? Of course not. Where's your tree set up, Sakuya? In the main saloon. In the main salon. It is not visible from outside. It would take a great deal of time and labor to move it outside and redecorate it. I do not think that is a realistic option. Hmm. We'll have to rely on newspapers at We'll have to rely on newspaper ads and word of mouth then. The LaBelle family moved here to Little Dove, Hachiman City from France. Is displaying its gorgeous Christmas tree to the public or something? Who said anything about opening the mansion to the public? Why not take the opportunity to show off a little? It's your first Christmas here after all. And it should help spread the LaBelle family's reputation. Hmm. 
Man Sakuya. Open it up to the whole city. Let every birdie know you have an extravagantly decorated tree at home. The thieves should hear the rumors and they'll come to see. And then we can catch them. Very well, if I shall assist you. Cool. I'll get everything ready for an announcement in the evening papers. Something like, the LaBelle family's Christmas tree is open for public viewing tonight. All Christmas enthusiasts, welcome. We'll be fine, right? That sounds good. But what kind of super high school student... What? But what kind of super high school student are you? To have that much clout with the local newspaper companies. Any male dove would become super for a lady as lovely as yourself, mon ami. I shall be off then. Adieu. Loose-tongued cur. Yuya's laying the bait for us, so... We should work on a plan to catch the thieves at your house, Sakuya. A reasonable suggestion. We shall plan our strategy after school, then. It's still midday, but the wind is cold. At least today was a half day. It would be pr freezing in here if it were already evening. Why are we having the meeting in here, Sakuya? Is it not obvious? Because this is my domain. Your domain, though despoiled? Scum. Do you mock me? There is no despoiled in the dictionary of labels. Whatever. Let's just make our plan already. Sakuya is unexpectedly good at getting off topic. They used explosive here. How do you think they'll attack the mansion? They might try to they might pretend to be normal guests and sneak in the front entrance. They might, yes. But their goal is the tree, so even if they get inside they will not be able to remove the tree. Yuya's photograph showed them to be quite small, so there is no way the two of them could carry it out. How could they get out how could they get it outside then? I think they would need some sort of heavy I think they would need some sort of heavy machinery. So you think they'll show up in a truck or something? Any suspicious vehicle approaching the mansion will be neutralized immediately. So we need to have guards watching in all directions for any sort of truck or crane. The mansion opens at 7. Should we be there this evening too? Yes. That should help things go the most smoothly. I'll see you two there then. We need to catch these thieves before Christmas itself arrives. I still have some time left before I need to go to Sakuya's house. <laughs> Not quite enough to go home myself. What should I do? Maybe I should go pick up some sort of weapon in town? <laughs> <coughs> Didn't Ungel say something about one of the old shops in town start starting to stock Excalibur? Maybe I should go there. Hmm? A familiar figure emerges from the chemistry lab. Doctor? Ah, uh, if it isn't Miss Chu. You are done with your classes for the day, yes? Yes? What business have you here? 
I was just heading home. What about you, sir? He appears to be trying to hide the large rack of test tubes he's carrying. I was doing some tests to confirm some things. To think that I would only get access to these samples now, it is simply unreasonable. He looks genuinely displeased. Has he ever been this openly emotional before? Maybe the tests went badly. Well, I'm not sure what's going on, but cheer up, sir. I'm sure something good will come of it. Something good? That is the last thing I want. And with that blunt remark, he heads off towards the infirmary. I wish I could share some of my cheerfulness with him. I have so much I could brush my teeth with. Tell me, Miss Chu. Y yes sir? He stops and turns around. Do you have any food allergies? Um, allergies? Like to peanuts or fish? To soybeans, for instance? No, I don't. I don't think I do, at least. Is that so? He walks away, a self-satisfied expression on his face. You need to explain why you're asking, sir. If you just walk away looking pleased like that, you'll get reported. That's so weird. And I'm going to end it here. Well, uh, as soon as I get off the screen. All right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to end it here. It's fun. I... You know, I think these are just like short little stories that might last less than an hour if you're not reading and stuff like me. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like it's almost over and there seems to be just four stories. Either way, it's exciting and I'm happy about doing this again. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video.